Live, live, live and direct. The beauty is the beast, man. The beauty of the beast. Periscopians. Trying to get some good light out here, man. There we go. That's some good lighting, huh? Is that some good lighting? I don't know. That's good lighting. All right. Give a few minutes to jump on, man. What's happening? What's happening? All about Jess. What's going on? Thank you for joining. What's happening? Hope the mic is clear. Hope the picture is clear. What's happening? What's happening? Thanks for joining. Good morning. Hello. What's happening? What's happening? If you're joining, man, can you let me know where you're from? Can you let me know where you're from? I am in beautiful sunny Cal. Don't be jealous. From Brazil. What's going on, Brazil? In the house. Man, that's why I love social media, man. We can connect all over the world. I'm loving it. Awesome. Awesome. Root. I don't know what that represents, man. I'm sorry. Can you give me some more? Is that is that short for something else? Where you from? Where you from? Is that is that short for something else? What's going on? What's happening? What's happening? Knowledge 25. Thanks for joining. What's going on? Beautiful day. The beauty of the beast, man. Say hello from Rio de Janeiro. Oh my good. I'm jealous. <laughs> I'm jealous. Rio in the house. I'm jealous, man. I thought Cali was was fresh. Oh my goodness. Rio de Janeiro in the house. EM F931. What's going on? What's happening? Good morning. Beautiful Saturday. Matter of fact, we might be even be on different time zones, man. We might even be on different time zones. Oh my goodness. Well, man, let me jump up in, in this and uh, as people join or not join or fall off or watch the replay, it's all good, whatever it might be. I want to share a quick message, man, a couple minutes. Um, I just did a Facebook Live uh, helping some people out with some concepts um, about the various stages of their lives. And I thought, let me jump on here as well and share what I shared with them. It might help somebody on here as well. Um, the Beauty of the Beast, uh, my third book that I'm working on uh, that will be coming out next year is based on this concept of really the mantra of my company. My company is called I Am The Possible and the mantra is I and my possibilities are one and the same. Everything, everything I hope to be tomorrow, I already am today. I am not in the business of waiting and procrastinating and postponing. Beautiful day in LA. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's amazing in LA. Yes. Love this Southern cow, man. Love this uh, well. Um, so beauty of the beast and like I said it's based upon my business I am the possible uh, and this idea that my tomorrows man they are already in my todays I do not have to wait you do not have to wait good morning my dear sister what's happening oh man I don't know how the Carolinas is but man oh man look hold on look look oh my goodness come on now come on now. listen if I didn't have a message to share I would just be sharing about my God giving me this weather. <laughs> you feel me? If I didn't have nothing else to share, I'd be just saying, my God, look at this weather, man. You know? Yes, yes. Yeah, that's the message, right? I, I, I can just shut up and just do like this. <laughs> look at that. You know? And, hey, knowing where I came from, for me to be enjoying this type of neighborhood, that's a testimony all to itself. Yeah, that's not bad here. I won't complain. Ah, okay, cool. <laughs> Awesome, awesome. Let the earth declare his glory. Yes, yes. Let him be glorified today, man. Look how beautiful it is. Well, I wanted to share this quick little message because I was um, I was sharing on a Facebook Live. Um, actually, A.D. Walker, man. I was watching my boy A.D. Walker yesterday, and um, he was sharing some concepts about just live, man. Just getting your butt on this doggone thing, going live, going live more often. Um, quit scripting it, quit waiting, quit procrastinating, quit waiting until everything's line, lining up perfectly, man. Just get on, share your heart, share your mind, share where you are, and uh, let the people relate to you, let the people feel you. So, yo, yes, shout outs to A.D. Walker. If you watch the replay, if you're listening, my brother, you are encouraging, you are 
uh, making a crazy investment in people's lives, man. And may God continue to bless you and do amazing things with your life and your work as well, man. I see what you're doing as a ministry, my brother. You are working it out and people, people getting it in, man, because of you, man. So be blessed. Um, so the message this morning that I wanted to share real, real quick, uh, I entitled this scope, The Beauty of the Beast. I know we didn't see the movie Beauty and the Beast because we like to separate. We like to separate the beauty from the beast. And I like to look at the world in a different way. I like to find beauty in, in my beast. And what I, what I mean by that is, is, I don't know if any of you are into science. Or if you've ever studied um, the life cycle of a butterfly. But my third book, I am basing it on my company's name and concept. I am the possible. I and my possibilities are one and the same. Everything I hope to be tomorrow, future tense. I already am today, present tense. Um, And so it's this idea that my tomorrows are already in my todays. And I did a study on butterflies. And one thing that I know about our culture is we have definitions of what beauty looks like. Now, I want to ask you, have you ever looked at, it says, are you a Christian? Yes, I am. God fearing, God led, God breathed. I'm in God. God is in me 100%. Uh, I am kingdom. I am kingdom business. When God created me, he created kingdom business. When he created you, he created kingdom business. Business, so we are about our father's business, absolutely, Christian through and through, baby. Um, so back to my, back to my little spiel. Um, the life cycle of a butterfly. Um, there's four cycles. The first cycle is what we call the egg stage, when a butterfly is first born. When you look at a picture of a butterfly's egg, it's not that impressive. You might even look over it. If it's on the ground, you might step on it, because it's not very impressive. It doesn't jump out at you. It doesn't scream beauty. It doesn't scream phenomenal or exceptional. It's just kind of there. And that's the first stage. But scientifically proven and scientifically known that at the stage of an egg, a butterfly is known as a butterfly. It's already called a butterfly. But we know it as an egg. All right, that's stage number one. Not very impressive. Stage number two. That's what we know as the caterpillar. Again, most people like to fling that thing. You know, if you're walking on the ground, you could step on it, step over it. If it's crawling on your leg or something, you like to fling it off. You don't even think two nickels about it, man. Again, this definition is not very impressive. It's not beautiful. And that's what I mean by the beast. The appearance, the outside appearance, or the current conditions thereof, of a thing. In our culture, it's not very attractive. It's, it, it's, it, it represents the beast. It's, it represents that which is not attractive. Something that we don't really consider or take much, you know, um, account for. So that's stage number two. But scientifically proven and scientifically known that at the level of a larva, a caterpillar, it is known as a butterfly. So it's already a butterfly. You get where I'm going? Okay, we're going to keep trekking. Stage number three. It is what is known as the larva. And that is, if I turn around, you ever been like in a park like this? And you look up in one of them trees and over in the corner, there's that little cocoon like um, uh, shaped thing that's over in the corner. That's known as a larva. Well, at the larva stage, we really not impressed because it's just stuck up in the tree. Uh, We might mess with it. If not, as a child, I would see him every once in a while. I flick him off or whatever, play with him. No big deal. Again, the beast, not impressive. Aesthetically, not pleasing. No big deal. And one thing I put in here is (laughs) what I was writing about is when you think about Hallmark cards, when you think about kids, uh, little girl dresses or things that we put uh, butterflies on, right? The butterfly that I'm uh, about to go to, you ain't put no color, you know, you ain't put no egg on no, on no, on no, on no child's backpack or no little girl's um, dress. You ain't put no caterpillar pictures on no a uh, greeting card, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You ain't putting no picture of no larva on nothing. Um, because again, aesthetically, it represents the beast for us. It represents something that's not aesthetically beautiful. We've judged it. We've become dualistic in our thinking. We, we look at it one way and we deem it not all that impressive. So this final stage, 
number four, and that's the one that we're all used to. That's the one that we're all familiar with. That's called the butterfly stage, but really it's called the adult. It's the adult butterfly, and that's when it's flapping its wings. That's when it's going from flower to flower. That's when it's getting in its work. That's when we take pictures of it. That's when we put it on our um, computer, you know what I'm saying, screensavers. That's when we put it on our iPhone screensavers. That's when we put it on the, on the little girl's dress at school. Um, that's what's on the Hallmark card, right? That's the picture. It's the adult butterfly that we have, a, you know, that, that we as a society, we've deemed beautiful. Now, I hope y'all can still see me. My screen is going a little dark, so let me just kind of flip it around. Hope y'all can still see me. Give me a thumbs up if the picture is cool. Give me a thumbs up if the picture is cool. I can't read no more names, so forgive me, please. But if you're joining, I acknowledge you. I'll look at the replay, uh, follow you guys, check you guys out. But I, at this point in this sun, I cannot see anything. But give me a thumbs up, a thumbs up if it says, uh, will you see a little blur, blurry at times? Okay, we see you a little blurry at times. Let's see. Is that good? Let me get in position for this last, this last part. Is that good? Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Give me something to go off of. Brother sweating out here. Just came from the gym, by the way. Just came from the gym. Thumbs up, perfect. All right, so I'm gonna stay right here and finish up this message and get up off this scope so I can go jump in this shower. Um, so we are at the fourth stage, the adult stage. Again, that's where we recognize beauty. It is the it is it, it is the winged creature that we say, OK, there's a butterfly, all of its glory, all of its colors, all of its, you know, what I'm saying um, just magnificent beauty. And we say there's a butterfly. But the truth is, scientifically, that thing has been a butterfly its entire life. Stage one as an egg, not so pretty. It was a butterfly. Stage two as a caterpillar or larva. Um, it was a butterfly and stage three when it was up in the tree wrapped up in its cocoon in the hidden place Ah, that'll preach in the hidden place in the secret place I'm telling you that will preach when no one when no one can see you and no one knows what's going on with you man God's doing an amazing transformation it's in that place again people ain't really impressed with you but it's when you start flapping the wings now you're a butterfly well did you know that as a adult butterfly the natural lifespan, unless something phenomenal happens, is about two weeks. That's all they get. And by nature, they die off. A butterfly lives as an adult butterfly, flapping them beautiful wings for about two weeks, and then it dies. Its primary job is to go from flower to flower and drop off new eggs. That's all it does. So, so, so that means from egg to caterpillar to larva, that cocoon, all that time that it spent, it spent much more time being in those stages than it did in the final stage of being a butterfly. But yet it is in that final stage that we call it a butterfly and we see its beauty and we acknowledge its, be its, its, its uh, beauty. Now, here's the last thing I'm going to share. This ain't just on society. This is on us as well. Many times it's in those first three stages of life that we are not impressed with ourselves. But yet, God calls us and sees us as a butterfly. You have always been what God has created you to be. You have always been beautiful. Even if you see the beast, you are still beautiful in God's sight. That's my encouragement for you today, man. Stage one, stage two, stage three, stage four. You are what you are. You're God's creation. You're beautiful in his sight. Don't wait till stage four to start calling yourself beautiful. Don't wait till stage four to start appreciating yourself. Don't wait till stage four to start looking at yourself differently. Start looking at yourself right where you are, stage one, two, or three, as that beautiful butterfly. Listen, here is the concept, baby. Learn to fly without wings. Learn to fly without wings. If you don't, you will be postponing your own prominence. You will be procrastinating on your own prominence. You will be putting, putting off your own prominence. You were absolutely amazing from the moment God thought of you. Not even from birth. You were amazing since he thought of you as a concept in God's mind, in God's heart. The minute you were God's idea, you were enough. And you were already at stage four. You just got to walk it out.
All right. Be encouraged, man. Again, I am blinded by this sun, this beautiful uh, Cali sun. I cannot see these comments, but I will watch the replay. I got much love for y'all, man. I am praying for y'all wherever you are. I'm believing God's best for you in your life. And I pray that this message will meet somebody at the right time, that it might be an encouragement to them in their journey and their walk, man. I am loving y'all, praying for y'all, believing in y'all. Stay connected, man. Continue, please, to support one another and support what each other uh, is doing because we're all interconnected, man, and we all need one another. All right? This is Travel C.W. Lynch. I am the possible. Y'all be encouraged, man. Peace.